Hey everybody, thought that I'd show you what's in behind some of these screwed in cabinets uh, or covers on these uh, cavities in the trailer. Uh, most of them, uh, I guess, would be similar, these vented ones. This is for the furnace here. I'll show you some uh, pictures we took of that. Now, if there's, uh, you know, unless you're in a registered technician for gas I wouldn't monkey with anything in that thing to start with so but basically in uh, in there there's no filters uh, so I checked for that and then uh, there's another metal cover I'll show you and basically all you see is uh, the manifold in there the, the burner and possibly the wiring is the uh, direct spark so, uh, we'll show you that. Now, in the 25 or 27.5L, at the back of the trailer is the, uh, the other vented cover, and that's your converter. They come with a 1000 watt telepower converter and I didn't get one but there's also a plug in the back of that unit there see you can uh, you can see this you can plug in it's a little uh, remote monitor that comes out and then you can make this manual for a time if you want to put a boost on your batteries and uh, and it'll also tell you uh, the uh, what kind of amperage or, or what what setting it's on you know if it's just on a trickle charge or the boost charge or uh, there's a number of other things you can look them up it's a there's a power wizard uh, remote it's not a control a remote control it's like a, they call it a medallion or something like that but that's what's in this section they plug in right to a, a socket in the wall and then your other uh, wires for the whole trailer go right into this side here with a with a screw which is uh, I believe an allen wrench so they're relatively easy to get at. I'll see if I can show you what's on the other side over here. I don't know if this is too dark. Or... Basically, I can't really get in there too good. I can't see what I'm filming, so. Tell me later if uh, that was a waste of time or maybe I can edit it out. Now, if you bought your trailer used or you had stickers on it when you bought it and you, I mean, you, you don't want to keep them all on. So I took mine off and then I had to hunt around for the satellite wires because I couldn't remember if they had a sticker or uh but anyways, I opened up this uh, cork board that's on most of the 27 5Ls. There's four screws in it, and behind that is your plumbing for the shower that you can, if you have to change out your handles, or there's, uh, I'll show you some pictures on that yet. So that's where they are, and there's some plumbing if you want to change your taps or get in there to fix some leaks there's a, a lot of this is pretty tight in here i'll tell you but that's how you get access to your shower type of plumbing and then i did show you in behind the thermostat where the wires go from the satellite dish oh now, right by the main door here is uh, another 
screwed in panel and that's where your water pump is for these units here now the other units of course are uh, like they're different floor plans or in a different area but 27.5 L is right by the door here so when you take your panel off pumps in here your water fill fresh water fill goes in there and that's basically it but you do have a little bit of room here even to crouch down by the door you got a little space there now these ones are pretty easy to uh, winterize so once you uh, shut off your uh, water heater valve close that off and then you just take this hose here and this goes right into your uh, antifreeze jug and you switch your valve of course they put it upside down but there's a three-way valve right there and you turn it so that it draws your antifreeze through this other hose here and you got antifreeze through your pump and then of course you just go and open up your uh your faucets till you see pink coming out and every one of them even the outside one you do that and uh and then later you add antifreeze to your drain p traps so uh i mean a lot of you folks in the south never do anything like this or you might not even know where your water pump is because you don't do that kind of thing but in the north it's got to be done because uh, it's below zero here where where i am seven months of the year so that's what's in this section now outside in your uh pass through we've got these panels up here hope it's showing it's getting a little dark in here there's actually quite a bit of space back in there and these screws that you see here on the facing this unit is actually pretty dirty because I've got around to clean it out and it's usually full of things so those screws are just to keep this rigid now there's a, a screw in the top part here and there's a screw up in this top part here I'm gonna open that up and we'll see what's what's inside there. Okay, so got her open. A little coaxing. Now these panels here, they might be because they're in there so tight, they might be helping to keep these aluminum uh framing. They might be helping to keep that. There's a, what about a four foot span there. So, I don't know, it might be helping to keep that uh, support in place. But. So what's in here, there's uh, your heat vent going to the bedroom, the, the ducting to the bathroom, there's the toilet uh, here, this is an air vent, and then of course your uh, there's your sink drain and your shower drain goes to a P-trap up here. There's a, an electrical outlet that's inside your unit. There are T-valves for uh, water. Valves up here. Elbows. This is going to the uh, docking station outside. The red wires are for your battery shut off. here containers for your your hose for the outside uh, shower system here now it looks like in here there was some salt water leaking somewhere have to investigate that they're out in the desert so you never know what's gonna crop up when you open up things so 
Just add that to my list of things to do. But there is, you know, I guess if you're careful, you can put things in there that's not going to move around that you probably don't use that often. Or, or you can, I uh, suppose, I would even ask, try and find out if those are a support for the, the cross beams there on the on the framing before I took them out but you can jam those back in there there's only two screws holding it up that's what the panel looks like from the back side and I did have to take off a couple of these uh, pieces here that are on the thing just because like I said they're in pretty tight of course these different screws Phillips on the front facings and the uh, Robertson, a small Robertson on the on the other ones. You see, there's a you can see that up there. There's a screw up top there, and there's one down there. If you if you ever wanted to even open up another section. Now on the other side of that little wall there would be your stairs. So there's no really, nowhere really to go there, and in ours there's a central vac, so that goes right into the bottom stair basically. So there wouldn't be anything in there on the other side. So that's this section. So if you're if you're anything like me. You just pull this wire out and you would plug it in and close this up. Some people put in uh, steel wool in here so the, the most doesn't get in. But um, for laughs one day, I thought I'd pull all that wire out and see what's, what's in there. And there's a mystery box in there that's a 30 amp female receptacle in a junction box and then all the wiring for this wiring go into a box beside it so that's kind of a mystery anyone finds out what that is I was thinking maybe they used it to diagnose problems in the electrical I don't know. If you find out, let me know. So, there you have it for today. It's June the 1st, 2017. It's going up to 28 degrees Celsius today. I'm already sweating, and uh, I thought uh, we just cut this a little short.